Hi there. Now, if you've been watching the previous video where I showed you part A, we found out that for the point P, which had polar coordinates R and phi, and the tangent at P was parallel to this initial line, theta equaling zero, we had to show that the cosine of phi equaled one over root three. Now in part B, we've now got to find the exact value of R for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward to the answer, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, let's just put on the coordinates then of P, which we're told are big R there, and the angle is phi. So what we've got here is that the general curve C is given by this equation here, R equals A sine 2 theta. So we know that when R equals big R, theta, this angle in here, would equal phi. So if I substitute that into this equation here, we know that R must be equal to A sine of 2 phi at p, okay? Now, the sine of 2 phi being a double angle, we can expand it, okay? That would be equal to 2 sine phi cos phi. I could put the 2 in front of the a here, so we've got 2a sine phi cos phi. Now the problem is, I haven't got sine phi, I've only got cos phi. But if we've got the fact that phi is an acute angle, then we might as well draw a triangle. We can draw a triangle, something like this. Let's draw that down there. A right angle triangle. This angle in here is phi. And we know that this length, if cos of phi is 1 over root 3, we've got this length, the adjacent side would be 1, the hypotenuse would be root 3. And by Pythagoras' theorem, we can work out this shorter side. It's going to be root 3 squared, which is 3, minus 1 squared, which is 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. And then we just root it. So it'd be root of 2 by Pythagoras' theorem. So therefore, we've now got 2a. The sine of phi is the opposite over the hypotenuse. That's going to be root 2 then over root 3. And we multiply that with the cos of phi, which we can see is 1 over root 3. And working this out then gives us 2a times root 2. I'm going to write that as 2 root 2a. And then root 3 times root 3. Well, that's 3. So there we go. We've got what r is. Okay.